Welcome to our channel. Get ready to be amazed as we explore the complex universe of genome, where the smallest molecule mechanism manages the big symphony of our life. So prepare yourself for a journey that will challenge your perceptions and will leave you in amazing universe, which is per, which is replication of your genetic code that determines our life. So we'll discuss how the genome duplicated in a single cell, which is a remarkable process and essential or needed for cell division, storage and transmission of genetic information. So in this video, we try to highlight the key features of our double-stranded DNA. And the second point, how this blueprint, how our DNA or prokaryotic DNA will replicate itself. And the third question, the third keyword, what are the main enzymes and proteins which are required for DNA replication? Let's see the first two keywords in the first video. Now, DNA structure. As we know, our DNA is a double helix resembling a twisted ladder. The two strands of DNA run in a opposite direction and hold together by hydrogen bonds between complementary bases. So, the side of our DNA ladder are made of deoxyribose sugar and phosphate molecules. Together, they form a backbone for our DNA blueprint. So the, the other feature of our DNA, it contains four different types of nitrogen bases, adenine, thiamine, guanine, and cytosine. In one of the strands, adenine binds with thiamine by two hydrogen bonds, whereas cytosine in the first strand binds with the guanine by three different hydrogen bonds in the second strand. So these two strands of DNA are complementary and they can serve as a template for each other during DNA replication. Further, the, the, our DNA, they are anti-parallel strands, anti-parallel strands. The two strands of our DNA run in opposite direction, run, or we can say in opposite direction. One starts from the five to three, and the second, the second strand starts from the three prime to five prime. These are some uh, key points regarding to uh, our DNA structure. So let's see the DNA replication process. DNA replication process, it occurs during S phase. As we know, the cell cycle or the DNA replication or cell division contains four different, four different things. So these four things or four stages including the first one G1, growth phase one, then S phase, it means synthesis phase, and the third one G2, growth two, and the last one will be mitosis. The DNA replication takes place in S phase only, S phase only, in synthesizing phase. So, the two, one chromosome becomes two, one DNA or double-stranded DNA becomes a two in S phase. Let's see in where the DNA replication takes place. But before this, as we know, DNA replication is called a semi-conservative. So semi-conservative is a mechanism of DNA replication in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells in which each newly synthesized DNA molecule contains one old 
or one parental strand plus one newly synthesized strand. So this concept was proposed by uh, both scientists uh, Watson and Greek based on the previous uh, work by Franklin and Misselson in 1950. So the, the, the replication uh, origin, or we can say the place, the places in which the DNA start to replicate itself. Replication takes place in a specific area, which is called origin of replication. So this area has some spe specific things in which the origin of replications contains more A and T, adenine and thiamine. So as we know, adenine can bind with thiamine by two hydrogen bonds only. It means it needs less energy, less energy for breaking down the hydrogen bonds between double the strands. And the origin of replication in prokaryotic cell, it contains only one origin, one origin of replication. Whereas in eukaryotic cell or in human cells, it contains multiple origin of replication. So this region recognized by a specific protein in order to replicate itself. And the protein is called pre-replication protein complex pre-replication protein complex. This protein reads the double-strand DNA and recognizes the origin of replication. And then by the help of other proteins, they, uh, such as helicase, they break the hydrogen bonds between double-strand bonds. So they, they, they are separating the double-strand DNA to create a replication fork where the DNA synthesis can occur. So there are uh, these uh, points, this information or the, what we explain it uh, regarding to structure of DNA and some features of DNA replication such as origin of replication. But for the next video, stay with us to see how this process takes place and what are the key proteins and enzymes which they have important functions in order to one DNA becomes two.